Um, hello, everybody, uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to panel session three, the final session of the first Asia CCUS Network Forum. I'm now happy to start the session on the topic of financing schemes for deployment of CCUS projects in Asia. First, please allow me to make some um, housekeeping announcements to the panel members. I'm sure you're all very well accustomed to participating in online seminars, but please uh, remember to keep your video on and um, your mic on only uh, when you're speaking. And for the audience, I welcome you to enter your questions and comments in the um, Q&A portion of the chat box at any time during the session. And now please, Allow me to make a very uh, short introduction of myself. Um, as uh, I've been already introduced, my name is Kiko Shinchi, and I'm honored to be the moderator of this session. I'm a senior researcher at Climate Change Solutions Group of Mitsubishi Research Institute, or MRI for short. We are based in Tokyo, Japan. Um, the vast amount of my experience has been in promotion of climate mitigation technology deployment especially in Southeast Asia with the utilization of innovative financing schemes. And I have spent considerable amount of time developing projects for carbon, carbon credit generation. And um, before we start the discussion, I would like to make some introduction to how the discussion on financing CCUS has evolved in the context of METI area initiative. Can you turn to the next page, please? Uh, thank you. In November 2020, the third East Asia Energy Forum was held, and there it was recognized that CCUS is crucial in achieving carbon neutrality and energy security in ASEAN and Asia. In order to bring more CCUS projects on board and mobilize finance, it was discussed that there are some important issues that need to be addressed including, among others, putting in place the legal, uh, appropriate legal framework and policy visions with uh, long-term commitments and incentives and technology enhancements that's uh, both appropriate for uh, local conditions and, and uh, results in reducing cost and public acceptance so everyone can be committed to um, decarbonization goals. And last but not least, collaborative international approach to make everything come true. It was also discussed that involving the financial sector from the project planning stage is beneficial in reaching common understanding of the nature of CCS projects and mitigating risks for all those involved. I'm very pleased today that we have the honor to welcome guest speakers from multilateral public and private financial institutions. I hope our discussion today can lead to getting updated on activities related to financing for CCUS in Asia, share views by public and private financial institutions towards supporting CCUS, Learning, learning valuable lessons from leading examples in Australia and Europe, and exchange ideas on resolving financial issues, particular to CCUS in ASEAN and Asia, including ideas on creating value chain. And we hope to identify suggestions for financial aspect in enhancing the work plan on Asia and CCUS network. And I'm i um, pleased to say that um, I listened to the panel session two, which was uh, held previous to this session, and the private sector um, companies all expressed similar views to what we already discussed last year at East Asia Energy Forum. Okay, um, allow me to uh, go on and set the scene by sharing some of the findings um, MRI made through our own activities. Um, let me share you that for the past three years, we have been working with METI of Japan to develop CCUS projects with the view towards making them JCM ready. 
JCM is a joint uh, crediting mechanism. Uh, it's, it's one of the carbon uh, crediting schemes that Japan has developed with 17 partner countries, including a lot of the ASEAN countries. And MRI has been commissioned the role of the Secretariat to fund the feasibility study project, most of which are in ASEAN countries, implemented through a partnership between Japanese private sector and ASEAN counterparts. And MRI has assist, assisted these projects through engaging in policy dialogues with government organizations of the project host countries and JCM readiness activities, such as developing the GHG accounting methodologies. And through assisting in project development, we found some finance, financial issues for CCUS in each stage of project development. Uh, please turn to the next page. Thank you. In the initial feasibility study stage, often there's very little public funding available and it can be a hurdle for private sector to decide to engage themselves if there is no long-term policy commitment or credibility. In the more in-depth feasibility study, some funding is available, like for example, like the METI study program, but it might not be enough in monetary terms or in the terms of the duration especially for CCUS projects that require long leading time before investment decision. And the implementation build-up stage is uh, very difficult. Um, I have, have, we have found that even in Euro European countries with legal structure and government policy in place, massive public finance was often the decisive factor in project implementation. And solving the initial investment issue is not the end of the problem. The operational stage is another challenge where with, where with CCUS, it is often difficult to be, build a successful business model where reliable source of income is often lacking or in the early stage of develop, development. I think this is enough said from my side. Um, now, now I would like to ask our panelists to share their work in resolving some of the issues um, that have been raised already and give us insights into the further work that we can engage as part of the agency CUS network and push the movement forward. 